Welcome back. It's your host, Mr. Gray. I just want to thank you for tuning in again, once again, on another fine day to talk about our most loved things. Because if you're here, you love what I love, and I love what you love, and that's sneakers. But today we are here to talk about one sneaker specifically. That is the Nike Stussy Air Max 2013, which dropped last week on sneakers in the fossil colorway. So um, it actually has, it came out in three colorways. There was a primarily pink shoe and then a also primarily black shoe. Those two released on the Stussy website. I'm not sure if the fossil color um, dropped on the Stussy website as well. But either way, it dropped on sneakers and I was fortunate enough to get it. Um, I am ready to spin this shoe around the block. I have not put it on yet. Um, I've taken way too long to even review it. But I have been ready to get it on foot and actually just kind of see how comfortable it is. Um, as weird as this sounds, you know, I love my Nikes and my Jordans, but you know, in my collection, you know, I have New Balances, Vans, Converse's, um, and a few, a small, small amount of Yeezys. And the one thing that, that Nike slash Jordan has not reached yet is the pinnacle to, for me, a shoe that to me fits within the ones I like in this room in one of these styles with the comfort of a Yeezy 350. And so... I will wear all these shoes in this room, most of them, about 90% of them, but I will always wear in between them when I'm looking for like a real, real comfort day, my Yeezy 350. So I'm constantly, constantly hunting or waiting for that sneaker to drop that's going to be not only, um, I don't know, fashionable or a shoe that I truly love, but also has a mix of comfort mixed into it as well. Um... I'm, I don't know if this is going to be that shoot because, like I said, I have not you know, worn it around the block yet, but we'll find out anyway. Um, just throwing out there, those Mars Yards that I did review, I would say they're pretty comfortable. They're actually comfortable. They're not uncomfortable at all. You don't think about the foot, the fact that your foot is in pain or not as comfortable as it could be. But the thing about it is when I'm walking around in my 350, and I apologize, this is not about Yeezy, but when I'm walking around in my 350s, I'm constantly thinking, man. This is like walking on clouds. I must be in heaven. But anyway, moving along. I'm sorry, because I, I definitely kind of went down a, the wrong path there. So this is the shoe for the Nike Stussy Air Max 2013, the box, um, let me say. It's primarily white with red wording. So you have Nike in red, and then you, on the long sides of the box, you have Stussy. And then as usual, it's in my size, a 10 and a half. For my foot only on the inside you do you do have a paper that has some design and it's funny I had to look at it for a while to figure out well, excuse all the noise there to figure out what the heck was on it at first I was like okay maybe that's some grass and I was just and, and I stared at it a while and so when you stare at it for a while I realized okay so yeah you're looking through some grass here and then if you look right here there's a line and it's actually like a shoreline and then there's some people I think I can't see it. It's funny. I had to lay it down and look at it from a distance just to recognize what was on it. Somewhere around here, there's some people. And then I think the ocean kind of just merges into this weird pattern of nothingness here. So anyway, that is uh, the entirety of the design on the wax paper, uh, the paper from inside the box. So I'll put that away. So anyway. I've wasted enough time, so guys, so without further ado, we're going to go check out this sneaker in the light box, and I'll see you guys over there. So into the light box, as promised, we have the Nike Stussy Air Max 2013 in all its glory. So like I said, this is the fossil colorway, and it, it definitely has a, it's a very simplistic colorway, but you know, I like simple, so... Um, let's go. I'm going to first go into the midsole. So like I said, I did say the other two colorways, the black colorway and the pink colorway, they both have a visible air unit straight through the middle of the um through the midsole right there. But and you can't see that here. But if you push if as you press on it here, I can actually tell it's there. That same air unit is absolutely in this shoe, but they colored it the same color as as the rest of the shoe in this this top portion 
of the midsole as well. So it appears that it's not there. So it's almost like it has a, a, a kind of not, I hate to say invisible, but you know, a, yeah, an invisible or a layer basically over the air unit. So you can't see it as you can on the other two colorways. So that's the one thing that made this kind of stand out versus the others and gave it a more simplistic look as well instead of kind of that Air Max 97 look where you have that visible air unit through the whole bottom of the sole because on the other shoes if I remember looking at it correctly I know it goes to up about here but it looks like like it even creeps around closer to the front and yeah you can feel it you can literally feel it right in there so anyway now that we got that out of the way um, you let's look at the um, outsole so at the, out on the outsole, you can see stamped right there in the bottom. It says Stussy Air Max, um, which is kind of hard. You see it says Waffle Skin right here on the sole. And then you see those, those nice little treads right there. Um, it's funny because these treads actually remind me, I'm not sure to think of. I think they are somewhat similar to the bottom of the general purpose shoe I just got. Not the same, not the same at all, but like I said, just barely similar. Similar. They do appear to have actually good traction though. Um, like I said, I'm so excited and can't wait to kind of wear these out. So anyway, let's look out the, um, the upper part of the shoe. So as you can see, the whole shoe is um, a material, pretty much that of a hemp material. You have that inverted Nike swoosh right here. And then you also have a small inverted Nike sh um, swoosh on the inner part of the shoe. Um, as you can see, it's like a mesh on some of the side panel, the toe box, the inner part of the shoe on the side panel, and also the bottom and top of the heel. You see that mesh. But the and but the and the mesh is not like see through. I know you would think it is, but there's actually um, some padding, a small amount of padding right here on the inside. And let me see, uh, it's not really able to see it actually. But there's some padding right there on the inside between that mesh mesh. So it's not like if you were wearing a sock, nobody's gonna see that you're wearing a sock because there is some padding to actually block seeing directly through into the shoe. Um, like I said, there's that me that me that hemp mesh goes across around the whole shoe. You even have it in the tongue as well, if you can see right there through the shoestrings. Um, the shoestrings are actually, um, they're not like, they're thicker than your average shoestring, but they're not super thick. Um, kind of almost like, like a Yeezy thick uh, in a way. Uh, you have that same brown color that's going throughout, or fossil color that's going throughout the rest of the shoe right there on the lace tips, as you can see. Uh, let's see, you got Stussy Air Max stamped on the top of the tongue. And you have Stussy Air Max st stamped, or well, Stussy over several parts, but Stussy Air Max. As in, remember on, on the outsole, I said there's Stussy Air Max there. Stussy Air Max on the tongue. Stussy Air Max on the insole. And then just Stussy right here on the side panel. And you have a little mini swoosh right there at the kind of the top or the back end of the toe box. Um, so between, and let's jump now back. So I know we already talked about the midsole, but you know, right between the midsole and the upper portion of the shoe, you have another portion right here. I don't know if this is kind of where the comfort on the inside of the shoe comes into play, but just know there's, you know, there's another layer. It's almost like there's the midsole layer and then uh i guess a secondary midsole layer right there um this interesting i guess lace i have to say lacing system but it is a lacing system in a way but you know you can see that the shoestrings are going through an eyelet right here they're actually going through a hole right there but not only going through an eyelet but they're also secured by some i guess smaller i don't want to say smaller shoestrings but smaller little tiny um I, I hate to even say bits of thread, but just a s smaller, uh, I'm going to say smaller shoestrings, on it. I don't even know what they connect. Hold on. Oh, shoot. They got some tension to them there. Let's see. Oh, wow. That's interesting. You're not going to be able to see that, guys. Maybe you will. So, they do have some tension there. What do they connect to? So, they, I guess they go, so they actually do have a little bit of tension they actually go down right here, and they connect somewhere right here on the inside of the shoe. So, um, not the most amazing thing, but just interesting. It's a little bit hard to showcase that part on the inside, but it's just nice to know that, I don't know, there's an extra way they're securing the shoe strings. 
Um, outside of that, let's just talk about, I guess, the, the, the feel of the shoe. So... When I say the feel show, I guess like the, you know, like is it is it like really flimsy or is it really hard? So on the back here, it actually is, it's really hard. Like if you see me pressing, you see the pressure I'm putting with my hands actually really, really well, really well enforced here. But if you look at the top part, it's not, it's not that like reinforced as it is on this back end. But then also though, the actual toe box is pretty well enforced too though. See? Yeah. You can see my finger press in there. It's actually pretty, pretty strong, pretty hefty on the front of that toe box right there. So it's it's an interesting shoe. I, I think it's gonna be. It, it appears to be a very durable shoe. Um, it also appears to be a very um, comfortable shoe. Um, even on the insole, I don't know if you can tell, but even on the insole, you can tell over the, the I guess what would be the main part of the insole. It seems like they even have a kind of a hemp lining over the insole, which I just think is interesting. Um, outside of that, I think that fully kind of explains the whole shoe in, in a nutshell. Like I said, if, everywhere where there's mesh, you know, they're not. It's not a see-through shoe. You're not going to see the color of your socks. Um, there's there's a there's a lining on the inside that covers that up. It's actually a pretty soft lining, um, and it's pretty much a full hemp shoe with a nice little secure backing there. So I just want to say, um, I think it's nice. If this is something that's up up your alley, you definitely should get it. I, I have no idea what the reseller on, on this is right now. I absolutely have not been looking because I just know this is a collection shoe for me. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm, will, I'm ready to kind of put it on foot as soon as possible. So I'm going to conclude this uh, review on the Nike Stussy Air Max 2013, guys. I thank you for tuning in. I just want to ask, as always, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can see when I, I drop a new review. And once again, thanks. Mr. Gray out.